All right, let's get into the news. President Trump was in San Diego yesterday giving a speech to assembled members of the Marine Corps. And at one point, the president said he wants to create a new branch of the military that would patrol outer space. <laughs> and get this, he wants to call it the Space Force. I'm not joking. <laughs> space Force. It sounds like what my grandma calls Star Wars. <laughs> how's, that, how's that Space Force movies? Jake Skytalker still in this one? <laughs> but this is such a disappointment. There is finally a president who wants to build something as cool as a space army. <laughs> and somehow he still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 like, he throws out ideas. Trump throws out ideas like a kid at a birthday sleepover. High on M&Ms. <laughs> Let's play Space Force. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Uh, but the president didn't stop there. In the same speech, Trump claimed that the United States would be going to Mars, quote, very soon. <laughs> Damn, that Space Force works fast. <laughs> Trump said the United States space program will soon be going to Mars. I, I give him credit for not following that up with, and the Martians are going to pay for it. <laughs> But in his remarks, Trump alluded to Hillary Clinton, saying, quote, you wouldn't be going to Mars if my opponent won. You wouldn't even be thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Because we'd be happy to stay here on Earth. <laughs> it's... <laughs> but it seemed like those comments were off the cuff, and, and we were curious whether all this outer space talk was something his speechwriters had planned. Here he is giving the speech. And here is the reverse angle that shows his notes. Take a look. Remember, <laughs> don't mention outer space idea. <laughs> and here's a card from later in the speech. You mentioned it, didn't you? <laughs> while, the, while the president was in San Diego, he examined some prototypes of his proposed border wall with Mexico, and Trump remarked that the wall must be a tough obstacle because people trying to cross the border are, quote, like professional mountain climbers. <laughs> he then followed it up by accusing them of stealing all of our professional mountain climbing jobs. <laughs> Trump basically thinks everyone trying to get into America illegally is some sort of Mexican Batman. <laughs> But look, I'm, I'm no big idea man, like Donald Trump. I'm not, OK? But obviously, obviously, if you build the wall high enough, the Space Force can just take it from there. <laughs> Can't they? If, it'll be fine. <laughs> and <laughs> after Trump left San Diego, he tweeted a thank you to the Marines that hosted him. But in typical Trump fashion, he made a typo. He tweeted, it was my great honour to deliver a message at the Marine Corps, C-O-R-E. <laughs> instead of C-O-R-P-S. And now, look, we're hard on Trump about his spelling. We are, but it's an easy mistake to make. Any person in charge of the entire United States military <laughs> could have done the same. <laughs> Marine Corps... <laughs> Trump acts less like a president and more like that guy who blows the Wheel of Fortune puzzle with just one letter left. <laughs> you know, he's like, Pat, I'd like to solve the puzzle. It's the Easter buggy. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, <laughs> this was the biggest story of the day. It really was. I'm sure you all saw. It was, it, was, it was an amazing to watch. This morning, students and teachers across the country held a mass walkout to protest gun violence. Uh, and it was really amazing. <laughs> So watch, 17 minutes, they stood out there. Now, students in some districts were warned that they could face punishment for walking out of their class, but politicians should know if they turn their backs on these students, they could face punishment of their own. You know, like having to get a real job after the next election. <laughs> Now, in solidarity with the walkout, several cable networks suspended regular programming for 17 minutes. Um, it, was a, it was an amazing thing. So for those keeping score at home, as it stands right now, Comedy Central is tougher on gun violence than the United States government. But it was great work, kids, and we're with every single one of you. We really are.